Hey guys, welcome to another Reclaim vlog. A uh, little bit of a short one today. I mainly talk about the Super Troll new competition. I'm going to start filming with my GoPro. All my batteries are dead, so I'd have done this intro with it as well if I if I uh, if I'd have charged it. Uh, so yeah, um, not really filmed much. I've not been on out really good to film. I've been on like a square up lift, a Joyce, a murder lift. Don't earn much money on them lifts. Um, and we've been on a rendered plot, and as you know, rendered plots were ruined years ago by all this reinforcing and fucking 90 mil blocks are a nightmare to lay in all. Fucking, you can only do four course and start falling over. Uh, yeah, I've been on a rendered house, you don't have much money on render. Uh, so yeah, it's been a bit of a bitty batty couple of weeks. So obviously, I'm on that brick plot. When I get back on that lift, Whenever it's either got a floor on or scaffolded or a bit of both, um, I'll probably film again because I like those bricks were really good uh, for pick and dip. And I'm experimenting with a new trowel at the moment. I've got another trowel mortar in. I'm going to experiment with Ragni trowels. A lot of people are using Ragni now. Um, so I'm going to experiment with a bucket trowel conversion on that. I'm using like an 8.5, 9 inch trowel at the moment with tubs. Uh, a little bit of problem when you get to the last couple of trowel falls in the tub it can be a little bit hard to use handles a little bit big on it as well so but I'm not revealing that trowel yet uh, basically new trowels new trowel info coming soon and what I'm using uh, not the conventional style of trowel either um, I'm going to look into some jung trowels as well jung the guys the Dutch bricklayers use a lot of jung trowels if you watch them on insta uh, some, some some trial updates coming soon. Still been able to with all these trials out of tubs. Still been able to lay thousand brick plus a day with them, uh, even with the small variants. You know, so I'm using out from seven inch up to nine. Um, very low wrist strain, even with the little gangly fucking 97, 96 kilo weight today. Ninety six kilo runner arms. Don't have you know belly lift weights anymore. Do body weight stuff. Uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, so there's going to be some more running footage and fitness stuff. I've not been a bit off it this week with fitness. Um, but yeah, still running, all the, still doing my two, three runs a week. And um, hopefully I'll get my mojo back at work soon. Because I've been a little bit, I've been cutting my hours down substantially as well. Getting to work, 8 o'clock-ish, leaving at 3, half past 3-ish sometimes. Sometimes a bit later, but I need to get my mojo back where I want to attack it again. So, anyway... Uh, some more info, do a little review now on the Super Trowel competition and there's a little bit of bot laying footage from this week on this rendered plot which oh heavy bot, annoying right, see you at the end of the video an hour
Ten. Fuck off. Ten minutes. Oh, I forgot to press fucking start. Oh, you bastard. And really. You're getting fucking slow at picking them blocks up. Maybe you want to start training again. <laughs> He's got a cover in his It's a fucking slow time miss, you know. How long it took? Fucking eight minutes. Fuck off eight minutes. There we go. How fast? Hey guys, Harry here. Um, welcome to a little Britain vlog. Using the GoPro. It's a little bit weird talking to the camera without seeing out. There, so I'm trying to use it. Uh, I've got a uh, boom selfie stick. Uh, goes further than that, actually. There you go. Got here and uh, stuff like this. My messy bedroom. Well, our messy bedroom. Right, let's get that back in. Oop. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's seven quid. So do some running vlogs and stuff with it. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the Super Trowel uh, 20. 22 oh, sorry 2023 should I say um, yeah what I think about it and stuff and uh, obviously you've seen the trailers I'm not doing it uh, it's just dropped on Ard's birthday um, so yeah I'm in Thomas land uh, but yeah it does look interesting uh, a bit a little bit different to the super trial nowhere near uh, to the spec mix nowhere near as big obviously only like eight contestants or something like that um, so you know uh, and the starting height you know there's a lot of differences the height is starting that's only 300 mil off the floor um the tolerance is a bit more stringent i think than spec mix uh, the wall's 40 brick long um which i think is a bit shorter than the spec mix i think the spec mix is like 35 i'm not sure obviously they use different bricks uh you know what you know my opinions on it yeah it's going to be good if it's done right hopefully everyone you know it'd have been a lot better for everyone if it was on a weekend because uh, i know a lot of people including myself can't afford that many days off work cost of living etc etc but you know if the content you know if it's done well this year and and um and you know and uh i get chance next year if i've not got anything booked on I'll have a birthday, I'll make it down to next year's and I'll probably have a go entering it one of the years, you know, in the next couple because, you know, uh, for, for entering it myself, even though I'm, you've seen what, what work it get done in a day, it's a very different thing, doing it in a competition, picking up a brand new brick on the first day, um, obviously I'd have to practice working off of boards again because uh, it'd be quicker uh, you're only laying for an hour so you ain't got to worry about mortar going off that's the only reason I use tubs really um, you know get used to using a bigger trowel again because you're only 300 mil off the floor pick and dip it probably going to be fastest it's going to be probably long spread uh, a variation of long spread pick and dip or like a front tip like the spec mix um, the, the reason why is because you've laying a lot, a lot overhand uh, your front tip to fill that joint on the front that's all you need filling and it makes the pointing quicker really you know in the time you spend sliding the joint back uh, and pick and dip to make the joint you know you could just press it and then have a joint and there we go next one uh, so that's why you know the bigger trials are pretty much you know uh, king for the lower courses when I was doing when I was using that 11 inch trial when I, a couple of years ago on YouTube when I was uh, experimenting with the 11 inch trowel again after after using like a 10 for the best part of the year it was quick a lot you know very quick low down as soon as you got to probably waist height and above 
uh, which you'd probably struggle to in a competition in an hour uh, on a wall 40 bricks long you know it were quicker really you can get more gear on the wall you know you're not having to lift the trowel up as high straight off the board to the wall you know the bigger trowels are probably going to be key you know a lot of guys saying they're using nine inch trowels uh, and stuff like that i don't know if that's what they're going to use on the day but you probably want to get get quicker with an 11 i'd say like a 10 and a half to an 11 probably quickest for like a comp when you've only got to last an hour you know you're risking you can risk and take an hour of hammering um and again, if I were going to enter something like that, I'd just have to do a setup at home. I get some scaffold board set up in the back in the back garden. You know, lay a course out and just practice, practice, get my mixer set up, get an hour's, you know, get an hour's worth of gear on the boards, and just go for it. Basically, you know, your gear's going to be, and especially at the cooler time of year, you know, your gear's going to last an hour at least. You just need to fill, get enough gear, and then go for like, you know. And practice building corners at speed you know practice building pretty much freehand without using the level uh, and getting everything pretty much bang on the money you know and then be able to run overhanding quick as well we don't do overhand anymore no one lays overhand um, if you were really wanting to practice laying overhand you'd have to start like, building your gables overhand if you were say uh, on site, you know, you, you could start doing it if you wanted to be, get if you were that serious in, but there isn't that much money in obviously really in competitions. There's not that much time to take away from your earnings in the week or take away from your free time to practice to really win something like that. It isn't really, um, it's not enough incentive. I know because I don't know what people win the prize money is, but it's not a lot. And I know to enter, it's about 300 quid. Then you've got your fuel to get down to wherever it is, that could be 50 quid round trip. Could be sixty quid, could be more. And then you've got like paying your carrier for day, you know, anywhere from hundred to hundred and fifty a day or whatever, you know, a bit higher up down south I think they pay. So you've got that, and then you're sort of taking away from you know your earnings a week because it's a, it's not on a weekend. So um, it's a great idea. It's fantastic, and I think for the guys who you know who can can fork out you know five hundred quid for day, you know, obviously three hundred for the. Uh, for the competition and entry free and then you know a couple hundred quid spendo and and pay it pay their oddy you know fucking great you know if i had fucking 20 grand in bank i'd fucking do something like that so uh but yeah you know it's good because there's a few guys i think i don't know who's doing it but i know ash mahoney and collison and that's about it i don't the, i think there is a few others doing it but i don't, I don't really read into it too much well, I hope they live stream it, I hope it's good quality and uh, I'll be watching it, you know. Uh, I'd like to go and see some of the trade stalls but like I say, it's Fallen Hard's birthday, I've got it all booked anyway so uh, hopefully in, in in on next year either it's on a different date or a different day or you know I'll be able to find out in advance hopefully the you know if they'll give us a lot of notice in advance of the competition. Um, and then I'll try and make it down, but it is a lot, you know. You've got to be really die hard to want to spend your weekends looking at Brick Lane and stuff like that. And you know, I know especially for me, I go for phases. You know, I like, I like this, there's times I love Brick Lane more than others. You know, like any job, you know, if you've done after you've done it, if you've been on site over ten year, been Brick Lane learning to Brick Lane for probably thirteen, fourteen year, you know. So you know, it can get, it can, it can de-editing sometimes you don't want to look at it at weekends so but apart from that you know i'll be looking into probably doing it next year hopefully um like i said there's just a lot of time you just need a lot of practice really a lot of practice it's a big thing i always said um i think i said it on a brick lane vlog not long ago or quite a while ago probably now probably over a year ago the best <laughs> the best way to get the most amount of bricks laid is to just lay them good enough and that is something you need to practice doing on a competition because you're not trying to do a, you know, a bespoke paddle. You're not doing a, you know, a plot to, you know, be passed pass by an HPC and have like four inspectors wandering around it like it seems to these days. You know, we had an inspection the other day. There were about seven people climbing around plot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you're doing it a competition. It ain't going to be to the same standard. It's, you know, it's got to be in a good standard because there's a lot of deductions. Uh, I recommend watching Brick Lane Fundamentals video on it. He did like a bit of an in-depth depth dive of the rules, and him, uh, him and Charlie Coyson were the, one of the first channels I watched when I started doing this uh, Brick Lane thing. 
you know, with the pick and dip and whatnot, you know, which are pretty much exclusive laid bricks like that now, uh, pick and dip. But would I say, would I lay pick and dip in a competition of this style? No, you know, you're probably be better doing it the spec mix style. It is probably, that's the reason the most amount of bricks have been laid that way. It's quick, um, you know, pick and dip is pretty much um, the only reason it's so quick when you're laying on site is because, you know, you're taking away a lot of the other downsides of laying with a long, with a long spread and with, you know, a big trowel and you're doing it for eight hours or ten hours in a day, not for an hour. So for an hour, you can lay a very different style and uh, a very quicker style. Um, but yeah, there is, you know, there's guys doing the two pick and dip, you know, I know uh, Brilliant Fundamentals, I forgot the guy's name, I forgot the name, is it it's either Matt or it's, fuck it, it's, somebody, it's either Matt or is it fucking Steve, I don't know, I forgot his name, he never really introduces himself like I do where I say <laughs> Harry Regan all the time. Um, or Harry here, you know, they do, a lot of people don't say the name when they start a video, you know, it's a bit of, a, bit of a weird thing I do actually. Um, you know, but yeah, Brit Lane Fundamentals, these videos are good on the pick and dip, he's very good at it. And, and and the thing is, you know, a lot of guys will put in their PB brick counts in the, in the you know, in the start of the, uh, you know, in the trailers and stuff, and that doesn't mean out when you're picking a brand new brick up for the t first time. Um, obviously, probably guys with more and more years of experience will do better at the competition, you know. You know, you've got to be good in competition as well, you've got to get, have your head together and not fucking get too nervous on the day or anxious you know that's one thing you've got and if people watching you are you alright with people watching you while you're working you go fast you know it's all sort of you know and you're in a different environment you know you've got fucking you know you've only got your odd carrier there's everything you know the mortar could be fucking too wet or too stiff you know there's a lot of variables so but yeah so anyway that's my little uh, my views on the uh, Super Trial 23 um I'll be watching it at some point and uh, I hope it all comes out, you know, it all comes together really well and I hope they make some, you know, they make it profitable or, you know, and uh, they can keep putting them on, you know. Because, you know, everyone, if they make a cool shirt as well, not just Brick Lane Social Club, that's a bit weird, you know. It's like me saying, like, you know, running social club, it, you know, it sounds a bit, you know. It sounds a bit funny. It's a funny old name, isn't it? You know, not something you'd wear out to boozer or wear out to, uh, you know, if you wore it on site, someone would probably piss out of you. But if they made a cool t shirt, a little cool, like, a bit like the Spec Mix t shirt, oh, it's a cool t shirt, you know, you know, it could do well. People could spend money on merch and stuff like that, you know. Um, it's like, you might as well have Brit Lane working men's WMC. That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? But. Working men's clubs, not many of them around anymore, is there? But yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll be coming to you with some running vlogs soon. Maybe a bit of site stuff. I'm not really, I'm not on brick work. I don't think for a week. I'm building a rendered plot at the moment, and blocks are boring, aren't they? But uh, yeah, I've, I might do a video next week or something. Maybe in a week or two. So I expect to probably another brick lane video in a week or two. So. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this. Hope you got a bit more info in the Super Troll, and uh, yeah, I hope you like the Go GoPro sort of thing. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna try up me me filming game a little bit. Anyway, right, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in a bit.